Fort Pickens is located on Pensacola Beach on the Gulf Islands National Seashore in Florida. In this video, or videos, we will show you the beauty of Fort Pickens and tell you about the many activities you can do there. We will give you detailed information about camping, snorkeling, beaches, and the best place to eat. We will also tell you about hiking, biking, and visiting the forts and batteries. Fort Pickens is a great camping destination or just a great day trip and it's way more fun if you do all the great activities there. Fort Pickens is a military fort used to protect Pensacola in the 1800s. And it's one of the largest brick forts in the United States. It's located here, and I'll tell you more about it later when we visit and walk through it. lucky enough to get here at sunset and it was absolutely gorgeous. Fort Pickens is open from sunset to sundown and will cost you $25 per car to get in and the pass is good for seven days. Hello! Hello. Camping! Yeah, welcome. You got a National Park Pass already? Oh my gosh. I do and I don't even have it on me. That's okay. What's the cost? It's 25 cars. Uh, Sounds good. I knew to bring it. We were smart enough to buy a National Parks Pass, just not smart enough to bring it with us. Nice drive in though. I mean, they could have been trying to find out the but it's nice. <laughs> I, I couldn't remember what I needed it for. Up to get into our campground? So, we tend to make food in bulk and then just pull it out of the freezer when we go on trips. Mm -hmm. Judging by the date on that package, this must have been for our trip to the Georgia Islands. Onion bombs are basically just like a meatloaf that you stuff in onions and grill. I'll put a link in the comments for the recipe. They were definitely better than they look here. Shannon and I have a good arrangement. When I cook, she cleans up, and when she cooks, she cleans up. We made it to Fort Pickens Campground. It's near Pensacola, Destin, kind of that area. Drove in last night from Panama City, and we drove in during sunset, and it was absolutely amazing. It's really pretty. I'm hoping uh, Hope we can spend some time on the beach. I think tonight we're gonna try to hit Peg Leg Pete's for dinner. So we're all packed up. I think we're gonna go do some snorkeling or possibly some hiking or biking, but man, it's it may be too hot for that. Might do that later when the sun starts going down. We camped in Loop C. It was okay, but I think the other loops are supposed to be better. The location was fine though.
We went snorkeling at Escambia County Bay Snorkel Reef. It was a decent little beach area on the bay side with free parking. All right, this is our last day in the water. Snorkeling at Fort Pickens. As far as snorkeling goes, it would be a good place for children or beginners. There are a couple of posts out there with some barnacles and stuff around them, but there's really not a whole lot to see here. If you watch our channel, you know most of our underwater adventures look like this. That last shot was a scuba dive at Turtle Canyon Reef in Oahu, Hawaii. I'll have that video out at some point. And we should be diving in East Africa later this year. So make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified when those videos come out. Actually, snorkeling here was fun too. I had a bunch of fish swimming around my fins, and I found this cool little hermit crab. We just followed him around for 30 minutes. So if you're into scuba diving, there's a good spot just west of the fishing pier called the Fort Pickens Jetty. It's supposed to be a shallow, easy dive. Just check the tides before you go. We were only here for a couple of days, so we will just have to do that next time. <laughs> so the best beach in Fort Pickens depends on what you're looking for. We go to a secluded little beach area at the end of the video and watch the sunset. Man, the beach goes forever. That was probably our favorite, but the most typical and popular beach is going to be Langdon Beach. Oh my gosh. That was deep. The beach goes on forever. So if you have little ones, or just don't want to deal with all the ocean waves, there are some beaches on the bayside, like where we just snorkeled, that will be much more calm. But be aware, they may not have as many amenities like showers to rinse off. Fort Pickens is about an hour and 20 minutes west of Destin. So we drove here from Panama City Beach along Highway 30A. It was a very scenic drive and we did some incredible biking near Seaside. Make sure to check out that video as well. So we usually cook most of our meals while camping 
But tonight we're going to head over to one of the best places to eat in this area, Peg Lake Pizza. Seventy-two minutes. 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 Seventy-two minutes